Hi, today I decided to tell you something about the concept called formation volume factor. Let me write that down. That looks like this, like formation. For me, oh my god, I'm so, <laughs> that's so weird. I just have no graphics table uh, table with me, and I'm trying to kind of use my mouth in the best way possible. So it is formation volume volume. Oh my god! No, let me let me actually use this thing. Let me use formation. Oh no, sorry. Formation volume factor. That's what we're going to talk about today. Let me use a little bit different typo, like this. Or maybe like this. Yeah, that's good. And a little bit. Okay. Formation volume factor. It denotes with the letter B, actually. And usually there is a subletter of O, which stands for oil. And usually, because usually when we talk formation volume factor, we mean oil formation volume factor. This is the most important concept in oil in, in the gas engineering, probably mostly oil. Uh, why it is so important? So basically, let me explain what's going on here. Imagine that we have a ground, an earth, something like this. So this is earth, no, not, not like this. Like this, we have a ground. This is the ground. And here is the layer of grass. Somewhere here, it's a layer of grass. This is grass and this is oil. And what we do, we drill a well bore here, because somewhere here at the depth, oil layer. So this is the oil layer we are trying to achieve. So we drill, nope. So we drill our well bore to take this oil out out of uh, the ground. Okay, so basically what we're doing here is we took our oil out of reservoir because of this well bore. It moves like this, it moves here, here, here. No, it's like too big, too big portion. And it goes through the well bore to the surface. But what's going on here on surface is that this amount that was taken here in the reservoir, it goes here and it's it become it it has less volume at the surface. So basically in the reservoir it was like this, but as it moves to the surface, at the surface it looks like this. So from the big portion of oil, the guys who are, uh, sorry, who are here uh, at the surface, they have this amount of volume. This is not pretty big. So this guy who stands there, uh, this guy who collects oil, he collected. This is the best way you can draw it. He the, collects this mm, kind of pack of oil and he moves it to the pipeline. Yeah, this is the pipeline, he moved it here to the pipeline, and this is pipeline goes to another person somewhere here. That how it moves, and then it goes to the car, to the plants, to everything like this. So why does this happen? This is the main question. Why this volume is changing? And this change of volume, this is the oil formation volume factor, B naught. Actually, it represents, let's lower it a little bit. So, B naught is the relationship. This is, this is O. This is not sigma, something like this. This is O. This is just the relationship between the volume of portion of oil inside the reservoir. So, we call it volume reservoir. And to the volume of this, the same portion of oil at the surface condition. So we put it like surface, surface. Okay. So why does this happen? Because here we have, for example, 2000 psi. 
pressure. So imagine here in between this point at the surface and this point um, somewhere in the reservoir, we have like we have like uh, two thousand meters, two thousand meters, two thousand meters depth here. And the difference between pressures is actually pretty, uh, pretty big because here it's like 2,000 psi, approximately. It's just, it's just uh, for example purposes, it's not real. It's just in my case 2,000 psi. Somewhere here, for example, at that point, and in the middle of the wellbore, it's like 1,000 psi. For just for example, and here at the surface where we are here with us, uh, we, we standing here, this is like 14.7, so at the surface is like 14.7 normal uh, temp, uh, normal pressure, 14.7 psi. So basically what's going on here is as it moves, gas, so here is the uniform flow, we cannot separate gas from oil there is the same but basically what's happening here is the oil started to boil and the gas bubbles began to form so a little bit more precise it moves here here is just the uniform thing and as it goes here at the 1000 uh, psi it will be it will look like this it will have the bubbles it will have the bubbles of gas and this gas is then will be separating so gas is escaping and here we have the same volume actually but this volume will be divided for oil oil and gas and gas is usually just simply escapes somewhere and all we have is this oil, and this oil goes to that person, that person, further and further and further. So this is oil formation volume factor. That's why it's happening. And I have actually a little task for you. It's actually pretty, uh, pretty tough thing to understand. But if you understand that, you can grasp the idea perfectly. So basically, we have B oil. And we have pressure here. And somewhere here is the pressure when the first bubble begins to form. We call this bubble point pressure. This is 2000 pressure. We have that case here. And somewhere here is, for example, 1000 psi. 1000 psi. And here is 14.7. Uh, this is absolute pressure, normal pressure PSI here at the surface. So basically what I'd like to, you to do is to draw a relationship between oil formation volume factor and pressure inside reservoir. So for example, if we took 2000 here, the portion B oil, oil will be something like this. I don't know, it's just X amount. But as it moves, please give me, if you can, please give me how it will happen. Okay, I hope you give it a try. So it, it will be like this, because before the first bubble is formed, nothing will happen. Literally, nothing will happen. But as the first bubble begins to form here, the first bubble, we have this uniform oil here and then the first bubble formed and this part is escaped this part is escaped and the overall volume of oil is decreasing a little bit so here it started decreasing 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 at thousand it's decreasing 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 and here at that point it would be equal to one because the difference between reservoir and surface there is will be no difference they will be absolutely the same so here it would be one here it will be something like this. This is the most important concept in oil and gas engineering. So I think I can stop there.